who doesn't love some buffalo chicken dip? So we have some chicken tenders. We're going to add avocado oil and a bunch of spices. I will put those in the description below. Then we're going to get a separate bowl, put in two blocks of cream cheese. We're going to add in some Colby Jack cheese, about a cup, and one packet of ranch seasoning. Give that a really good mix. So while you're doing this part and adding it to your baking dish, go ahead and be cooking up your chicken tenders that you just seasoned. I cook them in a cast iron skillet. You can do it in a nonstick pan or you can even do them in the oven. But then you're just going to give them a good shred. You want them in good bite-sized pieces. So this is going to be the base of your dip. So just get it good and evened out. Then we're going to add some buffalo sauce. I was measuring it out. It was about three-fourths of a cup, but I ended up adding more. So it was actually about a cup. You just want the chicken to be completely coated. The spicier you want it, the more buffalo sauce you can add. You can also get the Frank's Red Hot Original Seasoning and add it to it as well. So just make sure you have enough in there to your liking. Then you're going to put the chicken on top of the cream cheese mixture. I probably put a little more chicken than most people do, but my husband likes a lot of chicken in his dip. So just put that on top. Then you're going to put some more of the buffalo sauce on top. And I do a drizzle of ranch and then I do about another cup of cheese then you're gonna stick it in the oven bake for about 15 to 20 minutes until it's bubbly add a little ranch and you're good to go